What is going on everybody? How are all doing really well and welcome today to another Tournament champion Squad Builder because there has been yet another, there's been two this week really, a Team of the Season Unlockable Tournament. This time around it is of course the League Own Tournament where you can unlock yourselves this uh, Team of the Season. Godalons arguably actually the most desirable player so far out of all the unlockables. It's 86 which is the highest rated out of them all. And he just looks like a really solid card, but um, as always, I'm going to walk through the squad that I've won the tournament with. I'm going to take you through the tournament run itself, and uh, that can hopefully help you guys out with the tournament. Because um, this, again, it was a pretty tough one, because in my eyes, the, the experience I had with it, people seem to have some really, really solid teams, which I hadn't found as much in previous tournaments. But um, yeah, if you do enjoy it, lads, make sure to smash a big thumbs up on it. If you can get us over 25 likes, as always, that would be amazing. And don't forget to subscribe as well, that would mean a lot to me. But... Um, of course, it has to be a league on team. The team I'm going to show you here, lads, it is basically ridiculous. We're starting off with Team of the Season, Ruffier. The reason it's ridiculous is because look at the prices of these players. Just for a start, Ruffier, 92 rated, Team of the Season goalkeeper, 40k he's going for now, which is absolutely flipping ridiculous. Going into the defence, sir, we have got... Team of the season, Fabinho at right back. I packed him in the 55k packs that were just giving out like anything the other day. We've got team of the season, Maxwell at left back. And our two centre backs, we've got team of the season, Thiago Silva. Partnered not with David Luiz, who everyone else seems to use. I use Inform, Yang and Biwa. Because, I mean, look at this record, lads. I've had 11,750 coins. And those stats are absolutely insane. What I will say is... I hate league gun defences. They're just they're so lacking in my opinion. Even Thiago Silva, I hate the fact that he's got high high work rates. It really irritates me. There's just no one that's overly tall and quick, and there's so many people that are quick that that are short. There's just it's not a great defence in my opinion. Even the Thiago Silva David Luiz partnership that everyone raves on about, I just don't get on with. But uh, moving into the midfield on the left hand side, we used Javier Pastore, who's a really handy player actually. He's got four star skills. He's six foot two, really really solid player for the for the uh, the price that you're paying. The left hand side, so the right hand side, we actually used a CDM. I ended up changing this around. I originally had a different player here, but we put Lasana Diara's in form card there, not his team of the season, and then we stuck in door here. Now, originally, god damn it, I always back out when I'm doing this. I always press B too many times, but um, we originally had it this way around, but I felt like I was missing the presence of having a tall guy in the middle of the park, which is why I swapped it around and it worked an absolute treat. But um, moving into the composition, I did a review on him, you will have seen that yesterday. Absolutely incredible score, incredible card, sorry. This Ben Arthur scored an absolute flipping worldie in the final, which you'll see in a minute. He's in an amazing card, lads. You can see 13 games, 10 goals, and 9 assists. All of that in this tournament as well, which is not an easy tournament, like I already mentioned. That is an incredible return from Cam. Then uh, up top, we've got two absolute deadly strikers on the left-hand side, regular Lacazette, and then on the right-hand side, team of the season, Ben Yedder. Another card, lads. If you look at the price, I paid 148k. I'm going to massively lose out on him, because he's now going for about 90 after 100k. Incredible stats. I paid 26 games, 26 goals, and 10 assists. Not all those games are in the tournament, obviously, some were when I was just testing out the team. But that is the whole lineup. Like I said, it's a pretty incredible team. We do actually, believe it or not, come across a team that's even better than this on paper in the semi final. It was a ridiculous team, as I'll see in a second. But um, instructions wise, I actually had on this team wing backs to stay back while attacking, just because, like I said, the, the league and defence to me just feels so, so vulnerable at times. But um, had those to stay back while attacking. We had Endoy to stay back while attacking in the centre, but then we did have uh, Ben Arthur to stay forward and then the two strikers to stay central and get him behind him. What I was trying to achieve with that, which it seemed to work really well, was essentially, because this guy Lozano Diara is medium high, we essentially had these sort of, these six players, so Endoy, Diara and the defence staying back, Pastore doing a bit of a box-to-box -box job and then these three just lingering forward for the counter-attack and that's exactly how it played. It worked really, really well, lads. But um, yeah, this is the team that I won the tournament with. Obviously, obviously it's not a cheap team by any stretch, but um, with a bit of tweaking, it played really, really well and got the job done. But um, as always, I'm going to cut myself away now and we're going to go over the tournament run. And uh, like I say, you're going to see some ridiculous goals and a ridiculous team that we came across in the semi-final, lads. So yeah, I'll speak to you in a second. So lads, this is the team that we came across in the first round. It's a pretty average team and these are the kind of teams you're expecting to see now really in these tournaments. Because in all of them so far, you don't seem to come across that many incredible teams. Which did seem to be a bit of an exception in this tournament. Like I've already mentioned, we take the lead very early on. And that was a bit of a theme actually in this tournament. We were uh, scoring pretty early. But we did get pegged back to one all after we, we got a foot in and then he just rode the tackle and got through. But um, 
But I do want to mention actually while the, uh, the gameplay is going in the background is if you did want to build the exact thing that I've just shown you on screen it will cost you about 650,000 coins. That's the current going rate on the Xbox One market. However, a large, large majority of that is of course made up by the 90 rated team of the season, Ben Arthur, who's going for about 300k. So around half of that just under is made up by Ben Arthur. I just wanted to mention that quickly, but uh, you can see we got pegged back to 2 2. It was one of those games we were super comfortable, but every time I scored, he seemed to then score again, but we do make it a. Uh, 3-2 just before half time and then we get another goal just before half time once again two goals I don't think they were both in the 45th minute but they were both very very close to uh, to the half time whistle being blown that guy was a 4-2 lead and we then do go and extend that just after half time we didn't literally I think it's a straight from the kickoff so nice dribbling from Lacazette after we got a little bit lucky about it 5-2 and the guy pretty much rage quit after that but we do go into the second round and this is the kind of team I'm talking about in the other tournaments it didn't seem to come across these kind of team in the season players too frequently but I think because they are so cheap in the league 1 that is why so many people are using them but uh, we take an early lead once again in fact a very early lead just two minutes gone for that goal and it was uh, some beautiful dribbling by Ben Alpha to put us 1-0 up we get kind of lucky with the second goal to put ourselves 2-0 up just on half time 45th minute but then this guy goes and scores also in the 45th minute it seemed like an eternity had passed since the time where we scored to where this guy scored which like I say both goals in the 45th minute and then but I mean he pulls it back. It was another game where I felt like we were always on top, but any chance my opponent got, they seemed to take. But uh, thank God, we do go and make it 3-2. Some really nice play here, actually. Very, very calm by Yen Yedder. Ben Yedder, sorry. And it was Ben Yedder, Lacazette and Ben Arthur that really just won this tournament for me. Those front three were absolutely unreal. But um, I think this tournament I won on the third attempt, I think it was. And it was quite funny, actually, because I came across fellow YouTuber, Vizzy, in the uh, my second attempt in the first round. But unfortunately, I didn't win it that time. But... Um, Look at that for a freaking team in the semi-final 98. Ibra 92, like I said, tons of team of the seasons. And I was worried because I was thinking, am I going to have to go through this all again? Because, you know, we got to the semi-final. This is the furthest I've been at this point. And I thought I was going to be pegged back to the beginning again. But uh, not been off. Sorry, Di Maria gives this guy the lead. We actually intercept the ball and put together some really nice passes to then make it one all Pastore finishing it. And at this point, I was thinking, you know what? We've kept 98 Ibra really quite. Cool. We've done a fantastic job. And then he just bustles his way through on goal. And no one tells Ibrahimovic he's just not missing a one-on-one -on -one in those kind of situations, is he? He then goes and makes it 3-1. Again, it's no one tells just bustling through. Tidy finish. And I thought this was game over. I actually thought we were going to be starting again. It was 71st minute. We got a goal straight back from the kickoff after this guy had scored his third goal to make it 3-2. And then literally two or three minutes later, this is what I mean about league on defences. This guy is 3-2 up. I can only assume he's not on attacking, and he's just got nobody back. I think it's just the work rates of his defenders, like I was saying earlier on. But then, 88th minute, we go and steal the game, and this felt like a very, very nice win, because he'd been shushing up to the camera and all sorts when he'd gone 3-1 up. So this felt, it felt like a good turnaround, lads. It's, a turnaround's always fantastic, but in that situation, it's even better. But that takes us to the final, and we come across this team, which isn't, it's probably the weakest team on paper that we've played in this tournament, and we lads we absolutely sausage this guy you'll see some clips of misses and chances before the first goal I, I keep on saying it like whenever I get to the final I'm yet, I'm yet to, to lose a final yet the semi-final always seems to be the most difficult game we get kind of lucky with the goal but it was the least we deserved you can see but um, I was going to say yeah the semi-final always seems very very difficult and then I seem to absolutely obliterate people in the final for some bizarre reason but um yeah this guy we go 2-0 up just after half time, but this could have been any manner of goals, lads. It could have been 5, 6, 7, but then, to put the icing on the cherry on the cake, Ben Arthur, what an absolute strike that is to make it 3-0. You're going to see the replay of that. Undoubtedly, the goal of the tournament as far as our tournament run's concerned, and that is why that team of the season, Ben Arthur card, is just absolutely phenomenal. The touch, he takes a nice, nice little dribble round the defender and then just unleashes it, top bins past the goalkeeper to make it 3-0, and that actually induced a rage quit at the opponent giving us that team of the season gone on, giving us the tournament win, of course. And like I said, that pretty much wraps it up. But um, like I said, lads, at the start, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. It's always appreciated. Supporting all these tournament champions videos has been amazing. So if you can keep that going, that would be massively, massively appreciated. I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video, lads. Have a fantastic night. Nidge out.
Yo, he's niche plays with big games and player views are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.